Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a video overview of how to play our math charge multiplication game. We also have some other versions of this, such as subtraction addition, a rounding version that's coming out. So, um, but they'll all play pretty much the same. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this game plays and show you some tips that'll hopefully, hopefully, give you um, an advantage and a little bit of an advantage in playing and make it a little bit easier to play. Okay, uh, let me get this out of the way. If you're not familiar with Math Nook, we have lots of free math games, fun games, teaching tools to use and play, and there's never any membership or sign up required, and they're all free to play and use. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and this is a remake of our world famous Math Charge game that was done in Flash. Uh, okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's not exactly world famous, but it was a popular game. So we went ahead and decided to remake it. And I'd have to say it's been improved a little bit and uh, it's still a fun game. So if you like the old game, you will probably like this one. And uh, anyways, we, like I said, we have different versions of this. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to play along with some tips. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. When you first start the game, this is what you'll see. It's the main menu. You can click play to go ahead and play the game. Instructions will take you to the instructions. I'm not going to go over that, but what I am going to show you is if you click this clear button data, you can either go ahead and ask you, do you want to clear all the data? And what that's talking about is your high score. So if you've been playing a while and you want to reset the high score, or somebody else has been playing and now it's your turn to play, you want to reset the high score, you would go ahead and click the check mark. If you don't, you just click the X and nothing cleared. And then if you do want to, and now your high score, I click the check mark. So the high score goes back to zero. And uh, we'll see where the high score is when in, in the game. Uh, in just a minute. The video will take you to the mat to the page on Math Nook that has this video in case you want to watch again. And the more games button will take you to lofgames.com. LOF standing for lots of fun. Lots of fun games.com. And um, there they, they have the uh, same thing. Lots of it's our sister site, so there are lots of free math games and fun games to play, and there's never any membership sign-up required also, and the games are free. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start, um, you've got a health of 100. You've got these charges active, and what you need to do is uh, you're trying to sync the subs here, and I'm going to use the right now just to avoid the torpedoes. Use the A and D button. I can also use the arrow keys, which I'm doing now. And on touch, um, you'll have some buttons on screen that you can click to make the ship go left and right. And so that's all the only movement control you have. But what else, what you need to do to uh, uh, survive, or get a higher score, I should say, is you want to sync these subs that are shooting at you and you can see that I've already got hit by a tor one of these uh, uh, torpedoes and my health went down by 10. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when I do get hit by one. Let's see. So you want to survive as long as you can to get a high score. And so I'll go ahead and show you this and I'll show you some tips. So you see the health is 90. Now it's down to 80. When it gets to zero, the game will be over. So to sink these submarines... This, this has a uh, 3 times 1, so the answer is 3. And I'll just plug that in. And I'll do launch. And if it explodes close enough to it, there you go. You sunk it. And I should, let's go ahead. And when it goes to the bottom, I ought to get... Oh, i got to score 3 for that. Now, 8 times 3 is 24. Now, you notice when I fire, I'm going to go ahead and... What's it... Go ahead and plug that in. And if you notice, I'll launch. And once I do that, I've used up all the charges, my death charges, and I won't get them now. As they explode, I get, get them refreshed. So there's only six charges you have available on the screen at any one time. Now, so that plays pretty simple. I mean, I can click uh, 9 times 8, 72. I can click 72. And, it, and I'm just, if you notice, if I keep clicking this, it rotates around, which works really well until you have something like five times one because if I have uh, if I keep clicking all these uh, numbers here 
then it would be hard for me to put it in a five. So what I have to do is click this X to clear it and then punch in five. And when I launch, you see that I get a torpedo of five. What I also, what you can also do is I can use a keyboard and you won't see me click here. Um, if I want to go ahead and I'm going to put in four, well, I'd, I'd actually have to, I can actually use X to clear it out. Four. So basically, on a keyboard, you can actually key in the numbers with the keyboard, as you can see, do it now. And if you need to punch in uh, a, a single digit, which is hard to do, because now I've always got two letters up there, and it's just kind of wrapping around, I would hit, I could hit this X or the actual X on my keyboard, and that will uh, clear it out, and I can put in a depth of say seven and launch so that's how you play um you can see my score because i cleared this this is the best score or my high score so far it's the best i've done and if you notice let me go ahead and, and bounce out of the game so the score is seven i believe let's see okay now if i play again now you can see that the best score i've got since i cleared out the score was seven and now my best score is seven. This will change if I get a score of eight or higher than the course of high score will go to eight. So anyways, um, one thing I, I didn't explain, and I think you'll notice though, if I punch in the 63 for this guy here, move over and let's go ahead and launch it at, it always launches out the back, but you notice it, it goes down to that depth. So it takes a while longer. Whereas if I punch in a, five it explodes pretty quick because it explodes at a depth of five so you got to kind of be careful with these charges if you get like 56 let's go ahead and get punch that in probably don't want to do a whole bunch of those because if i do that i'm not going to have any depth charges for a while no big deal but it's kind of something to consider now see that one totally missed the ship so they just explode and i don't get any points for that so as you play and you sink more ships um, there will be more and more submarines. I think there may be a limit of total of eight. Let's go ahead and I'm, oh, I put in 28 instead of 18. That's not going to work. And eh, that will get it. So anyways, that's how you play. Um, uh, the, uh, if you want to turn on the sound. This will turn on the music. There's no sound yet because this now now you'll get sound. If you don't if you want to hear the explosions and not the music, you just turn off the music. And that's how that works. This takes you to the main menu. And that's how you play the game. I hope you uh, have fun playing the game. I hope this has helped some. And thanks for watching.